Hi guys, welcome back to the Colorful Foodie channel. I'm Anna, and today I wanna to share with you one of my favorite make-ahead breakfasts. So it is my overnight bread pudding made two ways, one with chocolate chip and one with almond butter, which is like my favorite nut butter ever. It's a big favorite of mine because I already said it, it's make ahead and it's also resourceful, meaning you will repurpose ingredients you already have. You can choose to make ahead or not, and then in the morning you just pop it in the oven. Let's get started. You know those bread buds that we usually save in the freezer? Well, grab about 10 of them and get to cutting them into cubes. Set them aside, grab a bowl, and grab the ripest banana you can find. Mash that banana up really, really good, followed by half a cup of pumpkin puree. Add an egg and two egg whites, mix it all together, and add about a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt. Add two to four tablespoons of honey and one teaspoon of vanilla extract followed by one cup of milk of your choice and mix it all together. Then you can add the bread and incorporate it all together. Get your toppings ready. I added one quarter of a cup of pecans and get ready to spray the bowls with nonstick spray because these are going in the oven. So just add a little bit of mixture, make some welts because you're gonna add some yumminess to the middle of these. I added almond butter. After adding your filling, top it off with a little bit of bread pudding mixture, add some more pecans on top and cover it up with saran wrap because these are going in the fridge overnight. But wait, there's more. Now you're gonna add some chocolate chip to whatever's left so you can make your chocolate chip bread puddings as well. Same thing, add some of the mixture, make some welts. This time we're gonna add hazelnut spread to the middle Cover it up gently and add some more chocolate chip to the top, along with some more nuts as well, of course. Put saran wrap on top of that, put it in the fridge, leave it overnight, and guess what? In the morning, unwrap everything, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, bake, bake, bake until ready, and then enjoy. Not for nothing. These are ooey gooey delicious and you're gonna be so happy that you made these overnight treats for morning. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I always do and if so, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel as well as to colorfulfoodie.com. Follow me on Instagram, it's colorfulfoodie as well as Facebook, The Colorful Foodie and don't forget to keep it colorful.